everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. I'm going to be showing you how to make this card, which I'm calling a double tower fold card. So it's got these two tower-like pieces on the side here. That's what it reminds me of. And it folds, um, stands up freely, freestanding, and it folds completely flat, fitting in a 5 by 7 envelope. So I'm really, really pleased with this one and I just love the effect and I think it's just really, really fun. So this is a birthday card, let's celebrate. This is using the transfer from my hobby base kit and these are, well this was a sheet of um, paper from one of my past kits and I've been meaning to use it and it's just worked perfectly with this one here. So um, if you are interested in joining the hobby base club, um, all those links are always shared in the description below and over on my blog as well. But yeah, this is today's card and I think it's super fun. And also on the back, you've got a piece here for you to be able to write your sentiments. So lots of room there as well. So let's crack on and okay, make it. So I've got everything here you're going to need. These are the, the foils that I've been using. I'll talk about those again in a minute. So I've got all these mats and layers. So your main card piece. So as I said before, it will um, fit into a five by seven envelope. So it's a good size and I like that size. So this piece of card measures nine by seven and you want to score along the nine inch side, you want to score at one, two, three, and then six, seven, and eight. Okay, so you'll have three, three inch columns along, coming in from each side. And then you've got this larger area in the middle, which is the front of the card. Then for your mats, so the main mat in the middle here, so it's up to you if you want to do the silver as well as the, um, then your layer on top of that, you may just want to do this as your pattern paper as one um, mat. And this is two and three quarters by six and three quarters. Then the layered piece on top of that is six and, well, I've got six, it's kind of in between six and a half and six and five eighths. Let me just see what that one's coming in at. Again, that's in between as well. So you need it to be, because it should be coming down, what did I say that was? Two and a quarter, so that should be two and a half. Yeah, so you want it to be two and a half by six and a half. And then these smaller pieces here, so you want one of each of those sides, then you need two that are, again, six and three quarters. This time they're three quarters of an inch. And you need two pieces of those for each side. And then the piece to layer on top of that, you want to be six and a half by half an inch. Okay, and then I've already done this one, but when it's stuck on top, it gives you that nice little border there. Then I've got these, um, I've just used my own stash and cut out the silver in a large circle and a smaller one. And then this is one of those transfers from the um, foils here. And that's the one that I'm going to be um, using. But if you want to use the same similar kind of circles, most of the nesting circles will come in around the same. But you should have one that's around three and a half in diameter. And then this one here is three. Okay, so that is everything. Um, we've done the scoring, so remove the scoreboard. Okay, so if we do a bit of burnishing first, so you'll have one, two, three, and one, two, three. The second one in, okay, you want to fold under. So then that one, fold under. And then that one underneath, fold out. Okay, so that's what you will have. And now, when that's all folded in, that gives you your five inch by seven. So that is the full folded size of the card. And then we're gonna be cutting up to this score line here. So fold those pieces over, lie it down flat, and then working along one of the sides here, um, grab a pencil and you just wanna very lightly, so, Make sure your ruler's lined up and it should perfectly sit at seven inches at the end there. You want to do a pencil mark at every half an inch. So just lightly, just mark every half inch all the way to the end. Okay. And then do exactly the same on the other side. Okay, so if I just bring that up, you can see there are all those little notches, notches, little marks I've done. Then with your ruler, you want to just do a line up to the first score line on each side, but it's just easier this way. You can get both of them done at the same time. So if I do the next one there, I'm using, use my grid under here as well, because this 
um, is in half inch increments so it's easy for me to line up. So you don't want to go across the middle because you will be rubbing out these um, pencil lines afterwards. These are just for us to um, cut along. Okay, so that's what you should have on both the sides leaving that middle. Okay, and then you've got this folded underneath with the two pieces. So then with your scissors, um, I'll grab these ones, you're going to need to cut up every single one of these lines perfectly. If you get your scissors in place so that literally one cut will meet that score line, you'll get a much cleaner finish um, than having to cut a few times. You just want a one, one kind of cut each time. Okay, so that's what you will have. And then rotate it and just repeat the same again. Okay, so now you will have all these pieces all cut out. Then what you want to do is open it up. So now your cut should go across. You've got the first column free and then it will go into the, the second and the third, leaving this middle bit. So then what you want is, it's entirely up to you how you want to start, but I've started with the bottom ones going in. So do one side first. So push the bottom one down and then just kind of keep it kind of bent like that in that position and just push down each, every other one. Don't worry if another one goes up like that. You just have to bring it back up again, but just you want to push each one in and start getting it to form that shape. A little bit fiddly but once you've got them in that position they will stay like so okay and then just fold it back over and just with your bone folder just go along and make sure each one's nice and straight and then that score line there is all nicely burnished and now you will see you get that really cool effect so again, on this side, I'm starting off with the bottom one and then every other. And just do the same again, okay, like so. Now just check that you've got no pencil marks showing. I actually can't see any of my pencil marks, so I'm going to leave it. Or maybe I've got a couple there, so I can just go over, just taking off a few there. So just run your rubber over anything that you may be able to see, but most of mine, I think, have either been cut away. Okay, so now we've got card and I just think this is fabulous so now we just need to decorate it so I'm going to pop down my mats first so these are these silver ones so I've already just popped my backing on all of these pieces this first layer So, and then pop this one on top. That looks so good, just catching that silver on the sides. And then just pull out one of these edges here. Do this one that I've already prepared. And if you stick it on this first and then all down as one piece, it's a bit easier to manage because it's quite thick. Okay, so that's all of that done. And then I forgot to mention on the back, this is this piece here is two and a half by six and a half. So it's the same um, measurement as the silver mat on the front here. And this is just for your sentiment on the back. So you just want to sit that in. Um, like so. And then you've got the room there to write your message on the back of it. So that is all of that piece done. So now just down to decorating our sentiment so as I've used if you haven't seen already I've been using these um, which came with the May kit um, and I found the little lollipop stick which I had said before that I had lost but basically if I get this one out oh, so these are all the other ones still I've got so you get lots of lovely transfers there but I've got the let's celebrate and it just fits in my circle here so you just want to take off the backing behind it and it's slightly sticky, enough for it to just adhere to whatever it is that you're sticking it onto. And I just want to get that positioned. And then with the lollipop stick, you just want to carefully, you don't want to make like dents in your card. I'm keeping it quite flat. 
So, and I'm just rubbing it over the whole area. And basically you just want to transfer the image onto your paper and then it will leave a sticky transfer. So I'm happy that that's gone across and I can see that that is transferred. You can just make it out there. Then I'm going to grab, um, we get we got the gold foils which I have used loads of, um, sorry the roll, this one here. Um, but because I've got the silver card, I'm going to use silver sheets. So I just want to find uh, there's one there, and just pop it over. I'm going to make sure it's right up in the corner here. So, and then just carefully again, and you will see it it take, kind of pick up that silver um, foil straight away, and you should pick it up. Yep, in the video, the. Um, the sentiment there, let's celebrate. And it will just naturally completely lift off, Ooh, like so. And just get a bit there. It's not taken. And there you will see the let's celebrate. So now get that stuck onto my card. Okay so I've just attached a couple of foam um, squares there. I'd already prepped those ones so they're in the right direction. And then I'm just going to sit that nicely in the centre there. And then just remove these ones. Like so. I'm keeping it quite simple in terms of the decoration because there's it's all about this great um, effect with the card. So I'm just going to make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, three and a half. So I want it to sit roughly there, like so. And there you have it. I just think that is a real wow card. It looks so fun. You look at it straight on like that, it just looks brilliant and in, I just love that it all folds up completely flat. This will sit in a normal, um, like I said, 5 by 7 envelope with a normal normal stamp. So it's fantastic. Yay! So there you go. So I hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to um, find out more about joining the Hobby Base Club, you've got until the 21st of May to subscribe for June's box and all the information I'll share in the description below. But there you have it. So if you did like today, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more. Thanks for watching. Bye! Thank you.